Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Irving Ghost Hunters. Uh, Eric Murphy, my boy Chris ain't with me today. He is actually at home. He had to attend to some business. So what we're doing, we're actually going to take a little trip. We're actually going to go out and scout some new places out. We decided that we were going to go out and check out a little bit further because you know guys that a lot of the places that we've already brought you content from has been in and around Memphis and Shelby County area in West Tennessee. And so what we decided to do, we actually decided to take a little trip and head out and go check out some of the places over in Arkansas. Uh, we're about 100 miles outside of Memphis right now. As you can see, we're in the uh, we're in the Delta Blues. You can see we're just pulled up at Memphis. I mean, at Mississippi. We just pulled up in Mississippi, and we're actually hanging out at the uh, the rest area just to get a little just to stretch our legs, get ready to hit the road again. We got about another 100 to 100 to 150 miles left to go, but we're gonna check some of these places out. We're gonna bring you along with us on this trip. We hope you enjoy it. Some of these places you'll be seeing us, we'll be dropping some content out. If you really like them, let us know in the comments below, and uh, we'll come back and do like an overnight challenge. So guys, let's get this video started. Come along with us on this trip. Stay tuned. What's up guys? So we just basically got into the town of Helena and actually one of the cool places that we just saw that uh, I wanted to stop at and look at and show you guys was actually a place called Fort Curtis right here on the river. We're less than like a hundred yards from the river. Um, this place is called Fort Curtis and you can see on April of uh, in April of 1863 General Lorenzo actually came through here and he made a speech right here trying to seek the enlistment of former slaves here in Arkansas uh, to enlist into the Arkansas infantry or the US Cavalry uh, so this place this place was here it, uh, it actually was founded in 1863 and uh, it's really cool they served in in freeing the Arkansas slaves so let's go in let's walk in it's open so let's go check it out this place is really cool come on guys let's go look all right guys, so as you can see, there's not really a whole lot right here. It's just a big mound hill that's built. I imagine that house right there actually probably served as like a, as like a uh, commander's headquarters. Uh, let's go look at it. And you can see the old church that's actually abandoned. It's, let's see if we can zoom into it. That looks really cool. I'm gonna check into that place. Maybe we can actually get permission to go in there. But, uh, as you can see, some of the signs here. Uh, parties under the Union soldiers seized Amer African American men, including those working for the Army and other jobs, and set them to work on Fort Curtis, uh, who's an advocate for the contraband. Uh, <clears throat> so, anyway, there shows you that African American laborers moved tons of earth, cut trees, they milled the lumber to actually build Fort Curtis right here. So, it's open, so we might as well just walk in and check it out. Let's go check it out. This is a place that I used to come through quite a bit. Um, this is actually the Sally Port entrance. As you can see, that's what it originally looked like right here is where we're standing. And... Um, it protected the port's defense, you know, defenders from enemy soldiers trying to get into the fort. If, if the enemies got across the the ditch that was actually would have been like right in here, then uh, 
they were basically bottlenecked in and this allowed them to uh, maximize the power power and try to take them out as soon as possible. So let's uh, let's check it out. As you can see, there's not a whole lot to it. Um, you can see they still got, man, that's cool. They still got an old can in there, right there on the corner. That's really cool looking. You can see they actually had them on both corners. And you can see the huge bluffs in the background. And see, that's one thing about it. See, Arkansas is known for its flatlands, like Tennessee, you know, in West Tennessee. Most of it is all flatland, a lot of it's farmland until you get, you know, up in northern Arkansas where the Ozark Mountains are and all that. But, guys, that is a really, really cool. But you can see. This place might be open late at night, guys, so if you want us to come here and do a ghost box session, be sure to let us know, man. We'll come check it out. But you can see, they actually had a really cool advantage overlooking what would have been all flat land across there going out to the river. So they would have kept, caught the barges, I mean the boats coming across the river. So this place is like super cool. Really, really cool really neat uh, and a lot of this civil war history right here I mean this this area is just full of it that's a cool cool looking house that house is really old all right guys so I really really want to explore that church that old church. I think I'm gonna grab a. I think I'm gonna grab a couple of cool pics on it and get a try to get an address on it, and uh, probably put our research girl Ashley on that one, seeing if we can actually try to get in there. That place is really cool. All right, guys. So we're gonna jump back on the road real quick. We're gonna follow, go a little bit further down into Helena and West Helena before we head out to. Uh, another really cool location. So stay tuned guys, you're gonna follow along with us on this whole journey. So I had to take about a two, 300 mile road trip today. It's gonna to be cool, it's really hot, but we're enjoying the ride. We're gonna eat, eat a couple of cool places. That'll be cool. Love getting out, trying out these little mom and pop restaurants. Let's go along, let's check it out. All right guys, hang tight. All right guys, so we're down on Cherry Street in the middle of downtown Helena, but something you may not have known that I didn't really actually know this until a while ago, and some of you may not even ever heard of this guy, but the very famous, iconic country music legend, let me say that again, the very famous country music legend, Conway Twitty, is actually from right here in Helena. Here's a shot, look at, check this out, where somebody actually put him right here on the side of the building. So that might ring a bell actually who he is. Hello, darling. But anyway, so as you can see, this town's really kind of old and kind of, kind of ain't a whole lot to it anymore. I mean, it's still a bustling little town, but a lot of these old businesses and stuff, as you can see, have all since boarded up and moved away. But I thought that was really cool. That's a really interesting 
deal. I didn't know that until just, just a few minutes ago that he was actually from here. He had some great, great music out. But anyway, guys, so we're gonna we're gonna check it out a little bit further. We're gonna keep keep moving through this uh, this building actually that it's that is on, as you can see right there, is actually is actually it's abandoned as well. So we may check this place out too and see what this exactly was. Uh, I'm not real sure what this actually used to be, but I'm sure we'll find out. Okay guys, so stay tuned. Let's keep moving. Hey, what's up guys? So actually we were just riding and we actually came across one of the historic cemeteries here in Helena. It's actually just right outside the city, but it's actually called Magnolia. Let me get that right. Magnolia Cemetery. And it was actually built and founded in like 1851. But uh, man, this place is beautiful. It's creepy. As you see in the footage, I'm gonna show you, we actually rode all the way to the back. That place was actually pretty cool. But uh, anyway, guys, I just wanna kinda show you real quick. Uh, this place is cool. I'd love to come back out here at night and walk around, you know, see if we can capture anything. See if maybe we can run a ghost bike session. I don't know, but also in the link, guys, this place is totally ran and kept up off of donations. So I'm going to put a link to their website in the description below. If you want to help out, if you want to donate, um, if, you, if you live in this area and you want to volunteer time to help keep the place clean or whatever, be sure to contact them. And uh, we're actually going to do our part when we uh, actually contact them, make sure it's okay for us to come out here and film later in the night but uh anyway just look at this place this place is absolutely beautiful old even though it does kind of have a creep factor to it it's actually just absolutely beautiful actually the video you watched was actually me driving all the way back there in the back this place goes on forever it goes up on up on the hill where the angel is so I really would love to actually come out here. Um, really, a lot of notable people are buried out of here from Poinsett County, I think it's the county we're in. But you can see, I mean, there's some graves that are actually up in the woods. There's a lot of grave markers that you can't actually make out anymore, but they're actually kind of like up on the hill out there. But anyway, you can see some of the gravestones are broke some are missing um, some of them they've tried to put it a little bit back together the best they could but uh, you'll see this place is just it's quiet it's beautiful oh, check that out that's cool that's a lot of uh, african-american cavalry troops that actually served in the uh, served in the US Army or the U.S. Cavalry. Let me back up. Let me get that right. But you can see, it's just a, uh, it's just a really cool, beautiful old place. You see, a lot of these people were born in the, uh, a lot of these people were born in the 1800s. Most of these are all military markers. There's a lot of people here. I noticed it's got a lot of the, like the Masonic symbols. But as you can see, these are all like military insignias right here. So, you can see that's actually really, really cool. I've seen a lot of those insignias in here so far. All right, so if you actually want to see us come back out here at nighttime and actually maybe do a, uh, you know, do a ghost bike session and see if we can capture anything on, on film, let us know. We, uh, we'll see if we can get in contact with the, uh, with the people that run the cemetery and make sure it's okay. They actually, 20 years ago, there weren't any gates up right here, but now they do have gates, I guess, to keep a lot of, you know, riffraff out or keep any vandals out. 
they come up in here in the evening time. But anyway, we're going to contact them and see if we can actually get permission to actually come out here at night and film. All right, guys, so let's get on to the next location. Man, we have still got a long way to go. We are actually just a little over 100 miles outside of Memphis in Helena. So we're going to keep going. Uh, we're going to see if we can make a trip out of it. Stay tuned. We got some more coming up. Hey, what's up guys so we're back we're actually you can see kind of like we are in the middle of absolutely nowhere and so we're taking a drive we're coming up to scenic st francis highway which is actually like driving through a national forest or something we actually stopped right back down there and checked out the crowley's ridge overlook and it is just absolutely beautiful i was gonna take a shot of it but it was a lot of traffic there so i didn't stop but right, guys, we're like 30 miles outside of Mariana, and we're actually, uh, we're coming down the road, and look what we just saw right here in the middle of the woods, in the middle of this forest, we found an unmarked cemetery. This is crazy. Check this out. That's it. So hang on just a second, guys. We're going to actually go up the hill here. We're going to go check it out, see what it's all about. Let's go look. Hang on just a second. Let's go climb this hill and see what we can find out. So, this is just like absolutely crazy. I don't have any, no words to describe it. This is like, it's just like in the middle of the woods. So, step out and watch snakes. Watch out for snakes. This is absolutely wild. So, all I'm seeing is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven headstones. And I don't see any others. Uh, oh, there's one right here also. Looks like one was missing from right there. The ground actually caving in right there there's another headstone on the ground probably from over there well there's several but let's see if we can so this one is William Green Smiley born in 1842 and passed in 1911 wow So I can't even read this one. It's the writing is just so faded. Looks like 1859, death 1877. So these are all markers too, with just like the initials R S. Let's check it out, guys. Here's some more. This is D M M. And no name, no initial. So we'll leave these. Oh, my sinuses are killing me today. Oh my gosh, and the weather is so freaking hot and humid out here. I'm, I'm hoping that maybe, maybe when we come back out here to hit up the hospital that we're going to check out and the other cemetery, uh, maybe we can come back through here late at night We'll do a ghost bike session, all that good stuff. To we'll check out, see if we can make any contact with anybody. Let's look. It looks like 18, 1851, 1960. No, that ain't right. What is that? 18. Oh no, it's 1908. 1908. Wow. Super old. 
So this is really cool, guys. Uh, wow. So I'm going to flag this on my GPS. That way I know exactly where this location's at. And we'll definitely come back out here at night. All right, guys. So let's get ready. This is an old marker, too. It's covered completely in moss. Nothing else is there but a base. Wow. This place is super, super cool. Hey, what's up guys so we're back again and this time we actually have made a trip a little bit further north and we made it to the destination that we were actually wanting to check out this place is cool i have been wanting to come here for years uh, this place is called bursar hospital uh, it was originally a church built in the 40s and then later became and uh, joe bursar actually turned it into a hospital and provided care to people of the community that lived here because of course the closest hospital was about an hour away so that was the whole reason behind building the place but anyway guys I'm going to show you around it we're not going to go inside but we're going to just show it to you give you a sneak peek we this is a location that we're actually working on we're going to be trying to film at over the next couple of weeks uh, we've got it tied up now with the preservation society that does own it so anyway uh, let me bring it to you let me show you let's take a look at it okay so this place was considered like one of the most haunted locations in the area they actually used it for a couple of years as a as a haunted attraction okay guys a little kind of set of steps right there it goes up top but as you can see place is kind of creepy um yeah the door is open but again like i said we're doing it the right way so we're not going to go in um remember we're trying to actually be able to you know do it the right way we're not about trespassing or anything like that but I kind of wanted just to, I just kind of wanted to show it to you guys, kind of give you a quick peek at it. Um, this place is really cool. I love this place. I checked it out. I uh, had a, a friend tell me about it a few years ago. So, another window that's open that you can actually see in that place. It's cool. Wow. So, as you see, it's actually, it's actually a really cool location. And again, like you said, we're working with Poinsett County to be able to actually come in here and film. It's a video that we're wanting to do. We're actually going to work on putting it in the uh, film festival. And so, anyway, guys, this place is really, really cool. It's supposed to be one of the most haunted places in this part of Arkansas. So, check it out. As you can see, it's... creepy you see right there it tells you first our hospital clinic but the only thing we don't like about it is the fact that so many windows are actually have been have actually been knocked out on it but that's with any abandoned building um, 
this would be a really cool place for us, you know, to actually be able to actually spend a full night in. This this will be one of the places where we do actually spend a full night in. Um, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a full length overnight investigation. We're going we'll have about five or six static cams set up. So maybe hopefully we can catch something. I heard a noise from inside. Sound like it came from upstairs. Like I said, I'm not gonna. So actually, that's a point to walk in, but we're not going in. Place does give off a creepy vibe, but anyway, guys, let us know what you think. Let us know. Would you spend the night up here? I um, think it'll be. Uh, I think it'll be great for us to actually be able to get in here and actually stay a whole night in here. We may actually get to capture some really cool evidence. I can smell the mold. It's bad. It's actually absolutely horrible. But I love the urban decay. It is so cool. The mosquitoes are absolutely horrible. Alright guys. So man, that has been a full day's trip out scouting some new places. We got some new places we're going to be dropping. Um, be sure to comment and let us know what your favorite place is where you would like to see us go to and stay the night at. Be sure to let us know in the comments where you're from. Let us know what part of the world you're in. We, uh, like I said, by the time this video comes out, you know, we've been already giving away some free merch. So, but keep remembering, keep, keep giving us those hearts. We love the hearts. We love the comments. We heart them all. Also, be sure to follow us out, check us out on Instagram, Facebook. All our links are in the description below. Uh, Chris Wynn couldn't be here with us this weekend because he had a lot of stuff going on, but he will be back. And uh, y'all just be sure to send him some positive thoughts, positive vibes. He'll be better. Anyway, guys, see you soon. We love you.